Good morning. Good morning to the state of Georgia. Uh, this is the PC Hardware Related Equipment and Services webinar. My name is Beverly Alexander. I come to you from the Department of Administrative Services, and we're just so glad to bring this webinar to you this morning. And we appreciate your time and your attendance. We also have present here uh, some representatives from the Georgia Department of Administrative Services, uh, Jeffrey Rolston, who is the IT Group Category Manager. We have Mitch Cummings and Nicole Johnson. They've been very instrumental in bringing this webinar um, together for us. And also as a note, if you have any difficulties or any technical problems, please contact Janet Pelolowski. Her number is 404-656-5361. All right, we're going to start off this morning with some opening remarks by Jeff Rolston. Good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome, and thanks for attending. Uh, I just kind of wanted to give an overview of what's been happening here at the state of Georgia and at uh, DOAS, Department of Administrative Services, that um, that instigated or, or required this this webinar we um, we as we were preparing our pipeline of projects to work on in um, fiscal year 12 uh, we decided that there were some major categories that had not been sourced for uh, a long period of time or there were some some categories of uh, products and services that we weren't certain um, we had a, a, a good representation of Georgia-based businesses that were involved with the initial quote. So we, we, we keyed off um, some major projects. Uh, if, you're, if you're looking on page three, we'll start with the yellow box, and that is um, software. Our software agreement uh, was, was relatively old, and um, needed needed to have new terms and conditions and we had some gaps in what we could offer specifically uh, around enterprise software that was proprietary to the actual manufacturer that we could not get with um, our existing contracts so we kicked off the software RFP uh, we are in the process of awarding or have awarded pretty much all but I think one of those contracts and um, there will be a webinar coming soon on that one but we have broken that down basically into end user software is category one category two is enterprise software uh, category three is Microsoft and category four is Oracle so more to come on that the second one down uh, to the right, going clockwise, is Jan Padalewski, who did networking equipment. Those contracts were extremely old. We inherited them from another authority here in Georgia. Uh, we did not have um, all of the, uh, um, we didn't have services covered in some of them. And there again, it was old terms and conditions. So we wanted to open that up so we could provide a lot of capability to the state of Georgia. We did that. We, all of those contracts were awarded. We now have 18 manufacturers on that agreement with numerous um, um, channel partners or resellers, however you want to call it, that gives a, a, a lot of capability for Georgia-based companies to provide technology to Georgia. Uh, the, the third box, Bernie Joy, is audio visual. We awarded um, audio visual and peripherals, but it was just boxed products. So if you bought that, you still had to do a competitive quote for the services to install that if you didn't have an embedded base of people to install. And so um, in fiscal 12, we, we uh, RFP'd that. And so now we have box products and related services for audio visual. Um, that's huge within the colleges and universities and technical schools. And then last but not least is, is, is the reason we're here today for uh, PCs. We had PC agreements with a consortia. Um, we were asked by our, um, those consortia was WISCA. We were asked by the legislators 
to um, do a competitive quote because they didn't feel that when that consorti consortia was awarded, um, because it was awarded out of um, Minnesota, Minnesota, they were um, they were leery of um, the participation by Georgia-based businesses in responding to that. So they asked us to quote it to see if we could get better, um, uh, get a better deal than we had with Wiska Plus, get some capability of Georgia-based um, and small Georgia-based businesses to play in that space, and we did. And um, the decision was made to move uh, away from Wiska and award our own statewide contracts because we did achieve what they asked us to do. So. Um, a lot of words for uh, we did. We had a whole lot of work going on in fiscal year 12 in the technology area, and um, I think I'll stand down now and hand the hand the reins back to Beverly. Okay. The purpose of this webinar, I'm going to quickly go over a few bullet points because the stars of the of the show here today, we would like to present the um, suppliers. I'd like for you to hear from them and be able to answer a few questions from our suppliers awarded to this contract. But just a few items that we want to go over um, just quickly. Um, we're going to provide some details regarding the contract, explain the purpose and the scope of the contract, go over a few benefits of the contract, um, provide some slides on where to find uh, the contract from our website, and then, of course, have the presentations from the suppliers or manufacturers. Um, we're going to review some frequently asked questions and then just recap um, what we've, we've seen here and have, open up the floor to uh, questions and answers. Just a few details about the contract. The contract number is represented here, 99999-SPD-T-2012-0702. This is not a renewal. As Jeffrey said, this is a new um, contract that had a competitive bid process applied to it. Uh, it's replacing some of the old consortia contracts. Um, the consortia contracts we had before uh, were with Dell, H HP, Lenovo, and Howard, and Panasonic. So this contract replaces the numbers that you see here. The contract term is for one year plus four renewals. Um, the first expiration is 831 20 13, and we should have four renewals following that. Uh, we do encourage the P card, and my contact information is represented. The purpose and the scope of this contract, with growing technology, we're really excited to bring this contract that has the opportunity to grow with um, technology and PCs. Uh, we've worked real hard. To, to bring a large scope and deeper discounts on the product support, excuse me, products, support, maintenance, and services. And this contract is a convenience contract, and it's available for use by all state, city, and county public entities in Georgia. Some of the key benefits, and we hope to, throughout the year, add to this list, because we know there are a lot of benefits to using this contract. Uh, we've mentioned the deep discounts and the savings, and you get additional discounts and savings with high quantity orders. We have enhanced warranty services. Each supplier has elected a dedicated person um, to represent the state of Georgia. Our suppliers or manufacturers are ISO registered companies, and they're specialists in the area of education, local, and state government. One good feature um, that is being brought out here, our suppliers or manufacturers really specialize in configuring what the needs of the state. And they can bring a large volume of products uh, to our customers. Because we have multiple awards, uh, we feel that we have coverage throughout the entire state of Georgia. For our product categories, our RFP was constructed a little different from the norm. Um, we decided to break the large bucket of PCs and break it down into categories, as you see represented here. This allowed the opportunity for suppliers or manufacturers 
who specialized in certain areas to be able to bid on that particular area. For example, if you have someone who specializes in thin clients, they could bid on thin clients and be awarded that category. We also are bringing leasing and finance um, to this contract, which we're pretty happy to bring. We heard from the state on those two items. Continuing what can be purchased off of this statewide contract, we have our PC hardware and related equipment. We have a vast uh, variety of accessories. We have maintenance and support, and then the items that you see listed here under services. Just a note on how to use this contract. Your purchase orders can be processed. Uh, through an authorized reseller, can be processed directly with a manufacturer. For your quotes and your POs, please reference the statewide contract number. And just note that you may need a statement of work for services um, that are time and material based. Again, this is a convenience contract, and you would need to make reference PO type SWCC. We've provided some NIGP codes just as a suggestion for you. And your pricing is represented as a discount off the manufacturer list retail prices. And just be aware that this is just a start as far as the discounts. The discounts can be represented uh, deeper with quantity or special. And our awarded manufacturers are ACE Computers, Dell, HP, Howard Technology, Lenovo, M&A Technology, Panasonic, and Transource. This just captures the initial category awards um, for this contract. With the growth of our products, PC products, we set up the um, contract where each supplier would have the opportunity to grow as technology grows. So what you see represented here, um, later on down the road, as products grow, you may see some products expand to the other categories. And we made it that way just so the contract can expand. Uh, this next section, I'm not going to spend too much time. This is pretty standard for our webinars. I'm not going to uh, spend too much time going through each slide here because we really want to get to our suppliers uh, to have them to speak. But to locate our contracts uh, by way of the website, you would go to www.doas.ga.gov. And the next few pages just gives you an idea of um, how to directly get to the link that would get you to the contract. Keep in mind that this webinar deck um, will be posted to our webinar, excuse me, posted to our um, website, so you will have all this information in front of you. Our contracts are housed in Team Georgia Marketplace, and it provides the uh, icon here from our website for you to click on. Uh, you can get to Team Georgia Marketplace as a guest by typing in TGM guest for the username and the password, or you can be assigned a unique username and password, which is represented on page 18. Once you get into the system, um, at the top to the right, you would click on Contracts. And at the top where it says search for PC or search for contract, you would type in PC or PCs. You can type in computers or computer. And it will give you a list of names. From there, you can click on your choosing. And it takes you to a contract summary page with information regarding the contract. And we also have two active links. SWC information sheet, which gives you all the information regarding the, the contract with numbers to call 
the contract administrator, uh, remit to information and so on, and the benefits sheet. Okay, we're now at the um, presentation part, and we're going to start with ACE Computers with John Sambrowski with ACE Computers. John, can you hear us? Yes, I can. Okay. Just okay, basically, uh, much okay. like to... I'd like to thank you all for, uh, for setting up the uh, webinar for us to be able to participate. Uh, we uh, really are very excited about this. We've been working in Georgia for several years, uh, probably about 10 years now, basically in uh, education as well as in uh, uh, both the K-12 side and the uh, 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 higher ed as well. We've, uh, we focus on a lot of specialty markets. Uh, why don't you go to the next slide, please? Try to move it yourself, Mike. Okay. Oh, okay. Didn't realize that was under our control. Um, Thank you. As you can see, basically, we're uh, we're based in the United States 100%. We have no foreign operations. Uh, we're a women-owned small business, and as I said, we provide uh, desktops and workstations primarily uh, for specifically targeted markets, uh, and that's uh, education. Can you go back? Uh, education. Uh, uh, federal government uh, specialty, and uh, we also do a lot in the field of computer forensics, which is used by law enforcement to basically analyze uh, uh, hard drives and uh, from uh, various criminals, whether it be narcotics or other uh, uh, white power crime, whatever it may be. Um, we're basically a custom builder. We pretty much don't build a lot of product to just put on shelves. We basically will listen to the customer, work very closely with them, and build a specific product for them. We do have some standard product offerings, which we have put in for our, our bids for the catalog, so to speak, but those are basically good starting reference points. And of course, we have to have the reference platforms in order to get the certifications for Energy Star, EP, Microsoft uh, certification, and those kind of things. Um, we've had, we have such a wide variety of business from both private and public sector that we're now entering our 30th year in uh, 2013, and we think we've got a pretty recession-proof business model. Okay, next slide. Um, the key benefits, I think, for you is that for the state of Georgia, we're able to give discounts of up to 50% off list price, which is better than WISCA, which we also hold a contract for, by 10%, because we've really focused on Georgia in the past. Um, we also think that we can have a lot more uh, consultative work with uh, Georgia businesses, uh, within the state that is, uh, uh, in order to uh, be able to get them what we consider to be the best true solution. We also have uh, a sales team and Georgia-based support uh, to be able to handle on-site service statewide. We've already been doing that for some of the educational institutions, whether it be UGA, Georgia Tech, or some of the K-12 uh, counties that we've been working with. So we think that should work out quite well. Um, we also think that we have a very customer-centric model. And uh, we've been ISO 9001-2008 for several years. Uh, we try to really develop a true partnership with our customers. Next slide. Um, we do have uh, uh, very good experienced personnel working in government uh, markets at state level. Uh, we've been working in several other states. Uh, as you can see, some of them here, Wisconsin, uh, Colorado, California, and Nevada. In addition to this, the overall WISCO, which gives us a very good state basis. And uh, we also work a lot in uh, universities. And you can see Georgia Tech has been there. We've been on a, on a UGA contract in the past, although that, that one ran out. And uh, we're anxious to be able to have a state contract uh, that we can work with UGA once again. Um, within the scope of this contract is going to be, uh, as I mentioned, uh, desktop systems, workstations, netbooks, tablet PCs, and uh, forensic workstations and password-breaking workstations. And those, again, are primarily for law enforcement. Um, workstations, basically, we have models that uh, look like traditional workstations. We also have rack mount models. And then we also have uh, portable models like that big notebook on the right, which actually runs Xeon processors, has RAID controllers, and it's basically a very, very sophisticated workstation with up to two graphic cards in it. 
very popular for use by uh, engineering departments to go take out and do AutoCAD in the field. Next slide, please. Okay, is, uh, can it go forward or? Try it now. Mike, can, um, can you try it again? <laughs> yeah, we're trying to try it. It's not giving us control. All right, one second, please. As, a, as you can see with the slide here, we, we work with both Intel and AMD. We're about, okay. uh, was on uh, Intel's uh, Premier Board of Advisors for nine years personally. And uh, we also work very closely with AMD on, uh, on their designs as well, although Intel is definitely, uh, definitely the uh, leader here. Uh, we also do a lot of specialized requirements, uh, very small form factors there. Sometimes can be used uh, for like digital signage work. Uh, we also have uh, you know, basically boxes that can be used uh, for media players, uh, like the one in the center. We also do some wall mount PCs. We sometimes go into some like, university hospital. Those kind of things, and again, we we're not uh, we're not just constrained to building black or beige boxes. We're we basically have built uh, machines in you know for the military, very specialized requirements, and like I said, basically you know minimum orders one. Uh, what what engineering costs goes in there, we'll try to absorb, but but if it needs to be uh, a little bit higher, we'll we'll try a little more for one unit. But obviously, what we're trying to say is that although we do have standard product lines, most of what we do is custom. Next slide. Lock up again. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Basically, as I said, we we uh, we try to focus on uh, on having a diversity of products, but also uh, having capable service locally, and uh, to try to basically uh, to innovate. We've won a number of innovations awards, both from from places like Intel uh, for some of their annual. Uh, Awards that they'll give out to vendors. Uh, we've won them at uh, shows like the uh, Consumer Electronics Show. Although it's not, we're not generally a consumer-based company. We, uh, but we find that uh, working with uh, the CES show gets to see how you can compare with other other vendors uh, in the marketplace, and it's a good place for promotion. We also work very closely uh, to be able to basically do what we call lifecycle management, which basically, you know, both uh, starting off with new acquisitions, but also disposing of old products. And we have full recycling capabilities for everything that we do. Uh, so, you know, basically we've been around 29 years. Uh, we've been profitable for all but one year. And uh, we expect we'll be around for many years to come. That's all. Okay. Thank you so much, John. Uh, we're going to reserve questions to the end. Uh, we're going to move on now to Dale with Mr. Bo Laughlin. We'll be with you in just a second. No, no, no. Okay. All right, ready? Here we go. Great. Okay, so I'm Bo Laughlin with Dell. I've been with Dell for about 10 years. Been around the state of Georgia for most of that time. And I uh, would like to thank DOAS, Beverly, Mitch, Jeff, and the crew for putting this on and getting the word out to everyone and enabling us to be able to serve the needs of the state. Um, Devin Richter, who's also listed here as the inside account manager, and I'd like to speak just for a moment about the structure of Dell since um, we have some pretty extensive account presence within the state. Uh, Devin and I work together. He's the guy who's on the phone most of the time and easy to get access to. We cover all of the state agencies. We cover the larger K-12 through institutions or districts in the state, and we cover a couple of large counties. And most of and any other accounts, the other municipalities and so forth that are within the state um, are not generally under our contract or our account set. However, we are more than happy to help you get in touch with the right person if you're not already working with them. So please feel free to make a note of this number, especially for Devin, for reference if you have one of those other accounts and need to determine who your Dell rep is. And we're trying to advance slides. Bear with us just a second. 
get it back to me. All right, let me go here. So just talking a little bit about who Dell is, um, you know, we have quite a huge investment in the state of Georgia. I believe we're up to almost 800 employees in the state of Georgia now. A lot of those have been through acquisition. We also have a very large presence in the state with the outsourcing arrangement that takes some of the state agencies, including DOAS, into consideration. We manage all of the desktops. There's about 38,000 of those in that program that, that Dell takes care of and manages. We've had a, a big market share in the, in the state for quite some time. We appreciate that business very much and are anxious to know what we can do to help make it better. What we think is one of the things about Dell that makes us different <clears throat> is that we've had a direct relationship with most of our large customers for many years and have had lots of opportunities to hear what those customers are experiencing firsthand and to try to develop solutions for those. With this PC contract, we believe that we now have the opportunity to continue that, those relationships in a direct manner and just would like to make sure that our audience out there knows that, that our ears are open. We'd love to hear any feedback that you have. In terms of just the scope of Dell, I think everybody at this point should know pretty much who Dell is, but I think we have about $65 billion in sales annually. There's about 105,000 employees in the company. Like I said, we have about 800 of those in Georgia. Um, and a lot of those are dedicated to meeting the various needs of our customers in the state. So please reach out to us at any time that you need help on anything Dell related. Um, just wanted to give a brief overview because our product lines are burgeoning these days, right? I mean, for a long time we've had product lines that were directly targeted at state and local customers, large enterprise customers, and so forth. And in the, our laptop line, that would be the ones up in the top left corner, which would be our Latitude product line. Over the past few years, or past year and a half, really, I think we've all seen the impact of the consumerization of IT, where more and more people are bringing to work their own technology. We all have smartphones these days. And it's really pushing the envelope to change the fit and finish and design of systems. So a lot of our systems that would formerly have been targeted at consumers are now being adapted for use in the business and government space as well. And that's what a lot of the rest of this slide represents. On the far left side, our XPS product line is one that was formerly our premier consumer line, and it's being brought up to meet the tenets of business and government, such as image capability, longer life cycle, um, deeper warranties, and warranties that fit business and government needs a lot better than they did in the consumer space. Moving over to the Ultrabook space, this obviously has been an exploding product line for us and most of our competitors as well in the last couple, three years. At the bottom of that second column, the XPS 13 is our premier thin and light system that weighs less than three pounds, has a 13-inch screen and a battery that lasts all day. Up above it, the Latitude product is the mate to that that's really built for business and has docking stations and things along those lines that will um, be brought to bear a lot of times for customers that are mobile and need to work in the office. Now moving over to the next two columns, tablets and convertibles, the items that are shown on this slide are items that are releasing at the end of this month, and they're all based around the Windows 8 time frame and the Windows 8 release. Under the tablet category, we have two. We have one in the traditional business line, the Latitude 10, which has a docking station that you can plug into it with an external monitor, keyboard, and mouse so that you can use it as if it were a dual screen <coughs> traditional desktop and then undock it and take it with you. The XPS, which is more the consumer version being brought up to the business and government realm, is also, and is our docking station for that is a removable keyboard, as you can see shown in this picture. <coughs> Excuse me. Moving over to the convertibles, this is a new space for us. We took a swag at it in Windows 7. Honestly, it didn't work out very well. Um, Windows 7, we quickly found, is not a very good finger OS, right? So this product, though, we're, I'm really excited about the XPS Duo 12. I think it's a great hybrid need for people that want to be on the road, that want a tablet, but also want a notebook and would like to create a lot of content, have a keyboard and mouse for it. 
It has a 12 and a half inch screen. It's, uh, and it's also in the Ultrabook category. So it will have very long battery life, quick boot up times, and all of that, that that goes along with that Ultrabook category as well. And we'll move on quickly from here. Just to kind of touch base on the latitude line. This latitude line that we have on contract, uh, we have our advanced, which is more of our economical mainstream business application, 14, 15 inch notebooks on the left. Our Premier series has a few more bells and whistles and options like 12 inch screens, 7, 10, 18 inch screens, and the like. Our specialty category is where our ruggedized systems sit and our tablets sit and netbooks also. Um, so, you know, this slide is, is speaking to is that in doing a lot of work and research in the last couple of years, what we've really found is driving in the large enterprise government education health care space, the primary need for systems are security, ease of management and support, end user productivity, meaning battery life, being able to connect to whatever and whenever, and reliable durability. Uh, this slide is just saying that we've really tried hard to listen to that and make changes in this product line. And as you can see, in these couple of blow-ups, we've made tremendous strides in making our systems more rigid, more durable, more aesthetically pleasing, and uh, less likely to show fingerprints and all those kind of things that matter to those of us using it. And, you know, just talking, and this is just a brief glimpse of a, a minor um, feature that's been added to all of our systems. One of the things that a lot of our government and education folks use notebooks in is a docking station. What we've seen in the past is you plug a system into a docking station, you leave it there for two years, you pull it out, and all of a sudden the battery's dead. And you're going to never use a battery. Uh, we have the ability in all our systems now to shut that off so that it's not even touching the battery while it's in docking station. So we've really tried to learn from our customers' experience over the years. All of our business class systems, those being the latitudes, will have docking stations available. There are multiple ones to choose from. Uh, that's a very, very large uptake in the government space. I just wanted to make sure that was listed and brought to your attention. Um, in the slate space, tablets, currently we have one out that's pen based. This is the latitude SP. And I really just threw the slide in here to kind of show what our tablets are typically looking like. This one runs Windows 7. It needs a pen. Like we said, it's not a good finger to wear. Um, and this is just giving you a glimpse of what one of those systems looks like and what we're trying to drive into that tablet space, including USB connectivity, memory cards for expansion, HDMI ports so that you can actually use the monitor cleanly and easily. And this gives you a little glimpse of what our docking stations look like. This system has a port in the back. It clips in. It's got all the external ports that you could want to add additional monitors and so forth. Um, a new piece in our lineup is one of our business targeted all-in-one systems. This is our Dell OptiPlex, which is our business line of desktops. And we'll skate through these really quickly because we keep this, we've intentionally made this product lineup very slim and easy to understand. Right, they're all vPro based. We have the 9010 all-in-one unit, as you see here. And in this next slide, you'll see that our 9010 product lineup carries four different cases. This is our biggest, most powerful desktop in the standard line. We also have workstation products, which will be available through this, con this contract for people doing CAD design and, and real graphic intensive work. But this one scales up to the largest degree for mainstream usage. And you can see the different footprints it's available in. We also have monitor adapters for our small form factor systems. The 7010 that's listed here is our mid-range and probably our most widely used throughout the state. And the 3010 on the next slide has three different desktop options, as you can see here, and, and is our most economical in this platform. And it carries all of our standard tenants of at least a year and a half to two years of product life. So images last for a long time, and so forth and so on. I um, wanted to mention, to our CFI, or Custom Factory Integration, we, um, all of our systems are available with a wide range of services already done in the factory for you. We can add in third-party hardware to those systems and cover it under the manufacturer's warranty. If you've got a specific need for a video card or something along those lines, it wouldn't typically be covered. Um, 
Images can be pre-applied and ready to boot up and plug in once they hit your site. We have all of the uh, services to wrap around that, and they go pretty deep from even having things. I believe we're one of the only manufacturers that can activate CompuTrace in the factory and have it ready to roll when it hits the floor. With that, I'll wrap it up and hand it over to the next group. Thank you. Thank so, you, Bo. Yes, sir. This is, oh, you brought this with you, too. <laughs> Thank but you. But I didn't want to. <laughs> Our next presentation will be brought by HP, Vanessa Paul, and Brian Martin. Yes, thank you very much. Thanks for having us here. It's a privilege to be on the contract. Uh, let's see. Okay, sorry. It'll be just a moment. We'll have HP up there and HP. we've been doing it, but I know it's been for a very, very long time. We've had a relationship with a lot of you out there, um, with all the state departments, and we appreciate this opportunity to be able to continue our strong relationship and, and great business. I just want to give you a quick overview of our agenda. I'll try to cover everything here within a few minutes. Um, I want to go over HP's leadership company overview, a quick product overview of all of our technology solutions offered on the contract. Uh, the value-added services that HP offers to you on this contract are value-add. The savings potential that you will get out of HP, and specifically HP contact information so you know who to go to and to how to get, have more assistance as you need it. And next slide. I just want to give you a, an idea about who HP is. Today, HP is the largest technology company in the world with a global reach and an array of solutions that go way beyond the printers and PCs that we're famous for. At HP, we are proud that our products touch so many lives, and we want you to know that that is just the beginning. HP is a big company. How big? We're the 10th largest in America and the 26th largest in the world, according to Fortune magazine. We do business in approximately 170 countries, and a billion people around the world use HP technology every day. Last year, HP shipped about 55 million printers, 54 million PCs, and 2.5 million servers, or about 3.5 products every second. <laughs> In addition, we have about 145,000 sales partners, uh, 210,000 service partners, and 88,000 retail locations, which is to say we are truly a global corporation creating technology that positively impacts individuals and businesses all around the world. Uh, In addition to that, what's even most valuable is who we have here locally for you. We have six dedicated uh, representatives to the state of Georgia. Uh, three for the um, field and uh, that's okay. We have next slide. But that's okay. And this is fine. But um, and three um, also internal inside account managers that are dedicated. Many have had long relationships with many of the different state departments and they look forward to continuing those relationships as well. So um, yeah, next slide. This, one. this is, I'm sorry, this is the right one. <laughs> that was on the first one. So this is just a quick overall powerful uh, portfolio for HP. Um, HP's leadership, leadership position is built upon our powerful portfolio and solutions that we offer to our customers. No one else can offer this level of manageability, productivity, innovation, and reliability. Uh, we're very proud about these different parts because this is what makes us as a, as a complete company. Uh, built for ease of deployment, our number one example is we're the largest integration, uh, have the largest integrated thin point offering. The way we're built for efficiency, we have industry leading Z workstation design. And the way we're built for future, we're number one in green ranking company, which has become a much higher priority for a lot more of the companies and as well as different individuals. Uh, we're also the top ranking of technology patents. When it comes to reliability, we're built to last. Lowered annualized failure rates 35% in the last 33 years and ranked number one in reliability. Uh, these all together is what makes, makes us even more powerful and perfect for your solution. This is an overall overview of our commercial product line. And I wanted to demonstrate how 
we work to have all of our notebooks, desktops, and workstations along the same sort of suit. So they, they flow so it's easy to find what kind of category you want to, to be able to customize a solution for you. Each one of these product lines follow the, what we call the essential, which is the, the entry level, the pro series, which is the advanced level, as well as the elite series. Um, all these different levels can be customized and they can be built to order. We do have special smart buy solutions we offer at extremely low prices. Um, sometimes those are even lower, lower prices than we can offer um, as a regular discount on the contract. So those are promotional offers that we always try to bring forward that are to your advantage, especially when you need something to come through quickly. Those are very, very important for some, for some situations. We incorporate the option of Intel or AMD processors in all of our products. Uh, the thin clients is something that I'll address in a different slide, but now I wanted to give you a full perspective to see that these are included as well as our all-in-one types of models. Um, Brian, would you like to say anything about some of our latest and greatest? Yeah, models? I mean, at, on the elite line, one thing I'd like to point out too is um, you know those those are kind of our our, our highest quality build. Um, notebooks that are built for um, long, long life cycles, right? So, you know, with budgets today, folks are trying to get as much life out, out of their PC as they can, right? Um, so, what we built, we built that to an eight, to, um, an eight ten G mil spec. So, basically, a semi rugged uh, military spec that um, that out of the gate, you know, a lot of folks are very popular for that. Is a lot of the, the public safety vehicle applications where a ruggedized, uh, fully ruggedized solution is a little bit out of their budget. Um, you know, a lot of folks are going with the elite um, series for, um, for applications in public safety. Um, the, other, the other piece of the elite that, that you don't see visually up here is also our Elite Pad 900. That's our, our Win 8 um, pad that we have just announced that's going to be shipping in January. Um, that's also built to the 10G mil spec as well. It's built for business. Um, you know, works well in your personal life as well, but it's built for the enterprise. Uh, with full security manageability and everything else from Windows 8 is actually co-developed by, by us and Microsoft. Um, we've been working directly with their product development team uh, for this particular product, um, as well as the convertible um, tablet. So, you know, a lot of folks like the tablet type of form factor that Bo was talking about earlier, um, where you can, you know, they, they want a pad, they want a PC, it gives you kind of the best of both worlds, um, and that's also going to be in our, in our Ultra book um, <coughs> um, that's going to be coming out soon. Thank you, Brian. Okay, one of the most popular solutions is the all-in-one solution. Uh, and why not? With 50% more workspace, a third less weight in packaging, half of the energy cost, that's becoming a lot more a conscious decision to keep, and just one to plug in. So it's one of those options that some people, you know, I, I, everybody thinks of the regular computer out of the box, but why not with one of these types of solutions when it, it can get you everything that you need and it saves a lot more energy for you. So I want to make sure you understand we have those technology options as well. The thin client family. We have quite a range. We have what we call our zero thin client, smart zero thin client, flexible thin clients, and our mobile thin client. And basically in the thin client environment, workers do their computing on a virtual desktop residing on the central server. Users access the environment through a thin client, a simple computing device that contains no hard drive or other moving parts and relies on the server for all the computing resources. So why should a, you consider a thin client solution? Thin clients are ideal solution for today's issues such as desktop replacement costs, network security, data access to mobile or remote workers, uh, supporting application hardware and diverse hardware, and ensuring data is accessible and secure. So those are the benefits of even considering, you know, a thin client type of a solution. Yeah, one thing I'll add too is, is you see the picture up there in the, the Smart Zero category of the monitor. That's actually an all-in-one thin client. Um, very popular. Um, you know, <coughs> one that's been, um, you know, highly regarded for, by a lot of different trade rags that everybody reads, but. You know, it's the first one that's been on the market. A lot of folks are looking for because of the the, uh, the the lifespan of a thin client. When you put it in, typically you you kind of forget it's there, right? Um, a lot of folks were you know are taking and repurposing monitors as well. So 
we put those two together because of the long life cycles of both. Perfect. Thank you. In addition to all the hardware, you're, there's several accessories and things you can that are you need outside of the box. And so one of the nice advantages, of the, some of the highlights I'd like to focus on here is our dual display monitor and stand. So that gives you advanced docking stations, there's long life batteries, AC adapters. What is also nice to be able to have with a vendor is your third party options for hardware and software. So that can come to a lot of different types of vendors. When it comes to ruggedized, portable products, we have the most popular brand is, is the Gitex and the Itronix. Um, APC Power, I think that might be familiar with for a lot of people. Uh, when it comes down to service, Care Packs, HP Care Packs is our warranty extension. <coughs> if you want to extend and need that next business day, on-site type of service, all of these types of options are available as, as outside of the box that you might be able to use with the extra budget savings you'll be able to use with this contract. Next slide. HP's environmental strategy. Uh, we, HP's environmental strategy has four key elements. Uh, one, reducing our environmental impact and resource consumption. Two, engaging with our partners, supply chain and policymakers to make progress industry-wide. Three, delivering products and solutions that make it easier for our customers to go green. Helping customers, and four, I'm sorry, helping customers and society as a whole to use IT as an enabler for a low carbon economy. Next slide. So I want to give a, a listing of what HP give you, can give you as a value add for you on this contract. We have a full catalog of products and accessories at contractually low pricing, in fact, very low pricing. Uh, it includes aggressive pricing on state, I'm sorry, the, yeah, the state notebook and the desktop standard. We have a dedicated account team available to help customize technology solutions for un, your unique needs. So if there's something that you're not sure when you're looking online and you want to be able to speak to someone, personally customize a solution for you, that's, that's, what our, that's what we're there for. Online customizable solutions are there to quote. Uh, special pricing discounts, though, are, based, are available to you based on your opportunity. So if it's not just a one Z or two Z and you have a scope of even, you know, 10, 20, 100, we want to customize that for you and provide you additional aggressive pricing for your type of, for the your work. Uh, in the last, reliable, here on this slide, reliable statewide source of supply and services for PC hardware, accessories, and services all the way around. And the second part of this, we give customers more choices in selecting a local reseller agent, providing procuring entities with an extra layer of support above and beyond the support available directly from HP. The 24-7 Support online is handy. You're always never working eight to five. It's always nice to have somebody there to be able to answer some questions. <clears throat> we have a dedicated order entry customer support person and team. So if, it, if there's ever a case that that person is not there, if there's any changes, we have a standard 800 number for you to call directly to that person. Now this person can be, help, can be helpful to you for many situations. So if you have an order you would like to check on, if there is a question about your order, anything in regards to your purchase order, if it's been received, how do I, you know, make sure it's been received and, and so forth. Anything that comes to about your order and the customer store to get that through, you may contact them. Now, I am your single point of, of contact for, for escalation. Um, always feel free to contact me if there's some place that you're not able to reach or not able to find. Now, the savings potential is the next slide we have. HP provides special negotiated pricing for large volume purchases based on your specific needs, not limited to a single purchase order. And the savings can vary. It just depends on your, you know, your scope of your work. The special discounted offers are for popular desktops and laptops. We have gone a little bit deeper to be able to provide on the most popular series to be able to give you the best discount possible. Uh, the extra savings that you're going to be able to, to receive off of this contract is really going to allow you to be able to afford the things outside of hardware itself. And I know when it comes down to it, there's always something that makes the solution complete 
and that's important to be able to have your budget work all the way around. Uh, your dedicated account manager for any, any quotes or any customized <coughs> quotes is Brandon L. Bray. Brandon Bray's information is at the bottom of this uh, presentation as well. And then here we go, Georgia contacts, I have them nicely listed so that you see Brandon Bray's information to be able to email or, or call him anytime. Um, the customer service order management person is there listed second. And then I, for any of the contract escalations or anything that you have that, that needs to be escalated, I'd be happy to assist. Thank you very much. Are we going to provide all of these? Thank you, Vanessa and Brian. Uh, we will next have Howard with Josh Purcell, and just give us a second to pull up his deck. Thank you. Are we providing these decks to everybody? Good morning, everyone. My name is Josh Purcell, and I am the outside uh, sales manager for Howard Technology Solutions, uh, covering Georgia. Uh, and as you can see, we have our uh, how our PC hardware and related equipment contract number listed here. Next slide, please. Uh, just a little bit about Howard Technology Solutions. Um, our mission is to provide an affordable, top quality product that exceeds your expectations. Uh, we manufacture our own desktops and uh, notebooks, as well as partnering with other industry leading technology providers. Uh, we are able to offer you high performance, low cost solutions. Uh, we have a highly trained team of network professionals. Um, we are also able to provide you with services such as installation, procurement services, consulting, and uh, one of our biggest strengths I would say on this slide would be uh, the flexibility of our company. We were able to come out, sit down with you, uh, with our local representatives, and better understand your IT needs and then customize a solution for that. Just some reasons why you want to uh, look at Howard Technology Solutions. As I mentioned before, a very quality product uh, are all made and assembled here in the USA and uh, thoroughly tested for their quality assurance. Uh, we use high quality components from manufacturers such as Intel, Kingston, LG, Samsung, Cooler Master, and Foxconn. Uh, you get a, a great customer service experience with Howard. We have 100% US-based customer support, uh, no automated phone system, you actually get a dedicated uh, account rep, and then 24-7 tech support for the life of uh, your system. We also offer selection of complimentary benefits, such as custom image deployment and maintenance, life cycle management, and then our Howard Technical Partnership Program. For customers that have their own support team, uh, they can get reimbursement for break-fix work done once they are enrolled in that program. What we offer through this contract is desktops, notebooks, our educational bundles, and then the related accessories. We have our uh, educational bundles, such as you see here, is a pet cart that was designed for to be mobile within um, institutions where you need audiovisual, but you don't need it dedicated in that particular room. You can move in and out of different, uh, different rooms for different uh, functions. <coughs> We have our design, implementation, installation, training, and professional services. We can provide project management, engineers, and then we have a uh, dedicated staff of 10 representatives um, here dedicated to Georgia, both outside and then our internal staff as well. Here we have our contact information. Oh, it's at the very at the last one. But our, our contact information would be, I would be the uh, outside representative located here locally. Um, and you'll see once we get back to it. And then we have Jacob Hudson, who is our dedicated inside sales rep for the state of Georgia. And then Melissa Reeves would be for any escalations or contract questions. Thank you guys for your time. Thank you, Josh. Okay, next in line is Lenovo with Joe Franzen and Melissa Maloney. And just give us a second to get set up. How's everybody doing? 
Uh, first, first and foremost, you know, thank you for your time, Beverly, Mitch, and Jeff. You know, thanks for putting this together. Um, just as a brief introduction, I'm Joe Franz, and a lot of you folks on the phone may be work, used to working with Ephraim Bowman. Uh, Lenovo did a little bit of a reorganization and realized that the state and local government side needed to be focused on a lot heavier than we were. So we created a specific state and local team um, where that's all we focus on in, in our select states. We still have individuals that are dedicated to education, uh, but, but we realize that state and local governments and cities and counties uh, you know, really sometimes need a little bit extra added attention to it. So that's the reason for the transition. I uh, just want to in introduce myself to everybody that's out there who's used to working with Ephraim. So just to give you an overview of who Lenovo is as a company, uh, we have roughly 27,000 employees. We're in 66 dif different countries, and we do roughly about $29 billion in revenue. We do have two facilities in the United States, um, and we have 12 manufacturing facilities worldwide. And one great thing that we're doing is coming in 2013, we're adding U.S. manufacturing to it. And, and that's, I know that's important to a lot of people, and one of the key takeaways that, that I would like everybody to get from this is if there's anything on this, on this deck, anything that I say that you need further information on, I would love to come on site to you, meet you face to face, you know, you know, put a face with a name and have you understand who you're doing business with and vice versa. Uh, we are the number two global PC manufacturer, and we do have about uh, 2,000 U.S. employees, and that's constantly growing, and $4 billion comes from U.S. dollars. So this is just an overview of uh, some of our desktops. The Think Center brand is our business series uh, desktop. These are the, the M series is what is bid on state contract for your standard configurations. Uh, the other ones, which much like uh, our competitors spoke about, we do offer the all-in-one solutions. One giant uh, differentiator is we actually use desktop hardware in our all-in-ones. Uh, so it's, uh, the system is, is still built to do a business class. We've made a lot of um, uh, cosmetic changes to make it look pretty and you know, make, make everybody you know, kind of have that curve appeal. Uh, a product that we just introduced not too long ago is our Tiny. You can see the size of it, and, and folks, I, that can have an i5 I, I vPro processor in it. So that is an entire desktop. You can add a chassis to it where it has an optical drive as well. That's something that I would you know, very much like to, to speak with people on, it, on an individual basis. So then moving on just to show a, a little bit more of our portfolio, um, the ThinkPad, which everybody was familiar with from back in the, the IBM days, you know, it's, it's always been reliable, it's, it's always been semi-rugged, and the, the biggest question that people had was when Lenovo purchased IBM's PC division, what is going to happen to the ThinkPad? Is it going to keep its reliability? It, it actually increased, um, and, it's, and it's increased over the years and continues to increase uh, since Lenovo has taken over that platform. What we were able to do is make it very price competitive. And I'm sure you folks can see on the contract that uh, we are very competitive with, with all the other manufacturers um, and, and so on. So one of the big things when you're buying a, a computer, whether it's a desktop, whether it's a tablet, whatever it is in the PC space, service is involved a lot with it. And this is kind of where you know, we, we recognize that everybody has decreasing budgets. Um, and unfortunately, those decreasing budgets sometimes cost individuals their, their jobs. And you have less staff to take care of the same or more systems than you used to. So when it comes to deployment, we can do image creation and load it at the factory stage. So when it comes, you boot it up and you're good to go. We can do you know, asset tagging for you, you know, do Windows 7 migration, all these things that you may have had additional, uh, additional resources three years ago or even three months ago that, that you don't have anymore. Uh, you know, we can dispose of the systems properly for you so you don't have to worry about your hard drive showing up in a landfill. Um, you're not responsible for that. Um, and, you know, I, I want to be very respectful of your time, so 
you know, the, the support wise warranty extensions, which, you know, you'll, you'll get from manufacturers. And that's, you know, that's a big thing is if you're not refreshing every three years, like you were three years ago, let's do a five year warranty. Let's make sure you're covered for, for your refresh cycle for at least what you're thinking. So if you can move on to the next one, thank you. So just an overview on what's on the contract. There were standard desktops, there were standard laptops, certain services were bid, um, but you know, those are those are the, the scenarios I believe that where we would come into the volume based pricing, uh, where just like everyone else said, when you're looking at those larger deployments, uh, that is something that you would definitely want to engage myself on, and we, we can take a look at, at the pricing structure and and what you know what you really should be getting. So then, just to end it with the contact information, and and this is this is truly the the most important slide on this deck. Um, you know, I, I am here for you. If you ever need me on site, I, I have a schedule based. I, I cover four states, so I have a schedule based where you know exactly when I'm going to be in Georgia. And if things pop up and you need me out here for for something different, for, for an emergency, I'm only, you know, four hours away. So I, I can definitely make, you know, make exceptions. But I, I would definitely like to have a schedule in place where you know when I'm going to be here. And if there's something that you need, that I can, we can get hooked up on each other's calendars, and you know we can we can move forward as a team. Uh, with that being said, Phil Culligan is my inside counterpart. He's the guy who sits there at the desk all day and, and answers the phone for you, does, provides the quotes for you. Um, if you need to hunt down an invoice or anything like that, you can always feel free to come to me, and you know I, I'll I'll more than likely kind of delegate that off to Phil because I might be on the road or I might be meeting with you. Um, but Phil is, Phil is going to be your, your primary point of contact. And then I put Melissa Maloney up here. She, was, uh, she, she is actually the sales director for the state and local segment that just got branched off. And I don't know if she would like to introduce herself, say a few words. It's totally up to you. Then but you put me on the spot, Joe. <laughs> Thank you. No, thanks for having us. So, so Joe's um, pretty close to Atlanta, but we are looking for, for additional resources, and we have plenty of employees in Georgia to help support this contract. So thank you for the business thus far, and we look forward to what the future will bring. Again, thank you for your time. Thank you, Joe and Melissa. We will now hear from M&A Technology with Pamela Moore and Billy Howell. Uh, good morning, everybody. This is Billy House from M&A Technology. Uh, thank you, everybody, for your time today of jumping on the call and, uh, you know, let me let you know a little bit about what M&A does and who we are. Um, Billy, you can advance your screen. Yeah, I don't have control of it yet. Okay. Right now. I should just... All right. So uh, here's M&A's overview. Um, so we are um, a company based here in Dallas, Texas. Uh, we've been in business since 1984. We are 100% minority owned. Um, pretty much all of our experience has been in custom manufacturing and uh, building of, of specialized technology products. Um, we are located here in Dallas, Texas, as I said before, and everything that we do is, is U.S. based from the assembly to the engineering. Uh, everything we do is out of uh, Dallas, out of our headquarters. Uh, M&A, we're pretty much a one-stop shop. So we are a uh, custom manufacturer, as I said. But also what we specialize in is a lot of uh, custom solutions, services that are going to help benefit the user experience. Um, we like to consider ourselves a uh, solutions-based company. Um, we don't really play in the commercial space. Um, because we believe that without services and custom solutions, basically you're buying a box and, you know, it's kind of a 50-50 a chance if it's the right solution for you. Um, so some of the product lines that we have that we actively sell today are our netbook, our shadow series, basically, which is a 14- and 15-inch uh, laptop, and then we have a 14- and 15-inch ultrabook. Uh, some of the special uh, some of the special attributes of these devices is really 
Um, we always use the latest Intel technology. Um, so all these are Ivy Bridge, uh, so the latest and greatest Intel motherboards, Intel processors. Um, where we are very unique is we are one of only six Intel authorized integrators in the United States. So when it comes to new technologies or support from Intel, um, you know, we can physically provide the best support in the United States. Um, custom configurations, you know, we, this is where we play just like the, the rest of the people in our contract. You know, we can upgrade a video card, the hard drives, the memory, the RAM, to whatever uh, your request is. Um, where I believe we're very unique is in our custom imaging ability. So we can actually either custom build an image for you or we can enhance your image uh, so that it works 100% with our uh, devices. Um, and we can actually also deploy. So with that being said, um, once we finalize an image with the end user, we can ensure that every single product that leaves our facility will have the exact same image on it uh, multiple times. And we will support upgrades to the image <coughs> or to the application. Now a specialty feature with the um, custom imaging is a recovery solution that M&A has actually uh, built here internally. And, and what it is is basically it allows your remote users or whoever your end users are to recover these systems at any point in time with a uh, system administrator username and password. Where it's very unique is it doesn't restore back to the Windows 7 or soon enough the Windows 8 just standard image. It actually restores back to your custom image, uh, which is very unique in the market. Um, so that's actually one of the one of the larger, um, I guess, specializations that M and A does with its custom work to all of our products. Um, the other one, all of our products, we recommend endpoint security. Uh, we have different um, products that we offer with that, depending on the level of security you need. Um, if you already have something in place, yet again, we can build that right into your custom image and just use your volume uh, license agreement and deploy them immediately. Um, with our desktops and our uh, Manda Pro series, so with our desktops, we have multiple form factors from mini towers to small form factors to all-in-ones. Um, in the desktop works uh, station space, um, we have built for some of the largest entities in the United States, um, for the MITs, for NASA, for Cornell. Um, we do specialize in high performance computing, whether it's workstation or server based. Um, yet again, the custom configuration, the custom imaging, um, our deployment services. Um, if you need these deployed to multiple offices or to multiple locations, or if you need it scheduled to where we ship a certain amount every week or every month for you know a contract period of time, we have all that ability here in the U.S. here in our headquarters to set all that up uh, for your rollout or deployment service. <clears throat> um, the last thing I want to talk about on this slide is actually our flexible warranty options. Um, we will build this solution from the hardware to the software to the warranty around your needs, um, whether it's two-year or three-year options if you need on-site support, if you need 24-7 help desk support, um, we can custom build our warranty to fit around you and give you custom pricing based on your needs. Um, next is one of our Windows 7 tablets. Um, this is our ToughNote 10. So this is a full 810G mil spec uh, tablet. So what this is going to give you is it gives you four and a half foot of drop, spill proof, dust proof. Um, some of the main features uh, to this device is it does have a secondary hot swappable battery option. It does have a uh, built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. It is also 3G capable. Um, almost all, most of our mobility devices are certified through multiple telecoms. Um, so that actually gives us an advantage uh, with support in the state of Georgia um, because the telecoms are always there to support the hardware that they have data service for. Um, and then we also have personnel that can be there immediately. Um, this is one of our uh, Windows 7 Slate tablets. So this is our companion pad. So this is an 11.6 inch um, Windows 7 based enterprise tablet. Some of the key features with this is it comes standard with a solid state hard drive. It comes standard with Windows 7 Pro. Some of the other features like some other tablets you have to have a keyboard and a docking station. 
to uh, control alt delete or to uh, do other functionality. We actually have a built-in hotkey in our device that allows you to control alt delete without a keyboard or dock. Um, so that could be a, a key um, pertinent uh, spec for like IT system administrators, stuff like that, to be able to, to get into the system without having a keyboard and mouse. Um, some of the other ones, uh, some of the other features with this is it can run full 1080p video. It has 1366 by 768 graphics. Uh, and yet again, this is 3G capable and it comes standard with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So our netbook uh, companion series. So this is probably our number one selling product uh, inside of, of our company with M&A. So we have partnered with Intel and um, we actually sell heavily in the EDU our companion touch series. So what it is, is it's a, it's a convertible netbook that is focused around education. Um, it has simple features that actually make a, a huge impact in K-12 as far as the ruggedization. So it gives you a three and a half foot drop, which is basically the height of a desk. So if a student ever drops it, you don't have to worry of shattering like a typical netbook or, or small form factor laptop. Um, it is spill proof and dust proof. So if there's anything spilled on the keyboard, you can dab it out, shake it out, and continue using it. One of the key features to this and why it's been so successful in K-12 or education is its multi-purpose use. So we believe in a school, um, you know, kids always have to have the ability to type, right? So typing is a, is a key functionality. The market is changing. Um, a lot of people are going towards uh, tablets. So with our swivel screen option, basically the screen can snap down and it turns into a full functioning tablet. Now some of the other features of this tablet is there's two versions of it. We have a resistive touch version that is made strictly for natural uh, pen and paper uh, writing capability. So you can physically rest the palm of your hand on this screen, write, and it's only going to recognize the stylus or the pressure from the stylus. Um, another feature we have is if um, the end user or if a school is um, used to like iPads or, or traditional capacitive touch tablets that are finger touch or warm touch, we do have a capacitive touch screen option that is available for this device. So yet again, you get the full netbook features with the semi-rugged capability, but now you have the look to feel of an iPad or a Zoom or a Galaxy. Um, we do have a traditional clamshell netbook. Uh, yet again, what is different from this device over traditional is the semi-rugged ability. So it also holds the three and a half foot drop to spill in the dust roof. Um, some of the other key features with the companion series is we've partnered with Intel and all of these devices actually come with the Intel learning series that is catered to K through 12. So what this does is this basically enhances the, the user experience um, within the school. So from an IT perspective, you know, you can push out massive updates all at once. From a teacher's perspective, you want to be able to teach the students, but you want to make sure that they're staying um, on the curriculum. So you can lock these devices down so the kids can only see what the students see. Um, and these are some key benefits in the learning process uh, in K through 12. Um, oh, will it let me change? Oh. And lastly, uh, this is our Genius Station. This is actually built around K-12 through also. So what we've done is, is through all of our experience in K-12, through we've realized that the school spends most of the time just as much on audio video equipment as they have on the physical hardware to teach the students. Um, so what we have done is we've built a single uh, purpose station that actually gives the teacher the ability to teach the students without having their back turned to them at all times. Um, the technology that's been growing inside of schools have been the smart boards or the whiteboards. Um, it's very good technology. The downside to it is, is the teacher always has her back turned to the student. So while she's sitting there expanding, collapsing the screen, or she's trying to give the user experience, she doesn't know if the kids are truly paying attention or not. So with this device, um, partnered with our companion touch series, the, the teacher can actually um, teach the class through a all-in-one touch screen that's on top um, that will project up onto a screen because there's a projector built into this. And she could physically teach a class um, and control all of the classmate, uh, all the companion touches 
through uh, this Genius Station. And so what it is, is basically it allows you to have a fully interactive learning session with the kids, but still make sure that they maintain um, the curriculum that you're learning and they're not straying off. Uh, some of the other key features to this or with the Intel Learning Series is once you teach the curriculum, you can actually issue a quiz immediately. Um, and what this helps you do is, is this just helps you basically determine uh, what students you have are, are picking it up quicker and which ones kind of need a little bit more of the one-to-one -one initiative or the one-to-one -one learning. Um, and so this is something that we have put together and we've started um, building and deploying to schools here in Texas. Um, lastly, uh, you know, m and is fully committed to the State of Georgia contract and supporting it with services and personnel as much as we need. Uh, so Flora Wilson was actually traveling today. She is your outside rep. So any kind of face-to-face -face meetings or uh, conferences or webinars that are in the state of Georgia, uh, Flora most likely will be attending. Uh, myself and Pam Moore, uh, we handle the contract from inside, from internal uh, M&A. We'll be handling a lot of the quotes, the orders, uh, sending in kind of marketing collateral and answering basic questions. Uh, and lastly, Jahad Jabran, he is our Senior Vice President of Business Development. He is our Executive Sponsorship um, that will be following up on a contract with Beverly and her team. Uh, and that's all we have today. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, and if there's any other questions, please feel free to reach out. Thank you, Billy. Thank you. Our next presenter will come for Panasonic. And we have Tracy Court. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Okay, go ahead. All right, Hold Tracy, on. I think you have the um, ability. Okay. With the screen. Okay. Thank you, Beverly. You're welcome. All right. Um, I'm with uh, Panasonic System Communications Company of North America. Um, we are a division of Panasonic Corporation of North America. Um, Panasonic Corporation of North America was um, founded in 1959 in New York. Um, we are currently headquartered in Secaucus, New Jersey. Um, and we will be moving to uh, downtown Newark, New Jersey um, in a new green facility in 2013. Um, we actually changed our name uh, January 1st to Panasonic Systems Communications Company. Um, based on just a, a redesign of the company itself. Uh, we brought a lot of additional products under our umbrella from other divisions of the company. Um, so in order to get the full meaning of what we represent, we changed it to Panasonic Communications Company of North America. Um, for the sake of the State of Georgia contract, we um, under this contract we have our fully rugged, semi-rugged and business rugged computers available, um, and that includes all of the accessories and services that um, go along with them. Uh, you'll see on this slide there are some examples of those, um, of those uh, laptop computers available. The um, CF31 and CF19s are considered uh, the fully rugged. The 52 and 53 models are semi-rugged, and H2 um, is under the business rugged category. Um, all of these products are um, HMG, HM mil spec uh, tested. They have all been tested with the six foot drop test. And um, they we have many of the models that are available with touch screen capability, so that will increase your mobility and function in the field. Um, a lot of the a lot of our customers include um, public the public safety, such as um, police, fire, EMS. We also have our education, so K through 12 and higher education, and we also include our, our hospitals as well. So um, a lot of these are create a lot of a lot more flexibility in the field for for our for our users, um, and allow them to do, to increase their their productivity. We also um, provide custom configurations available to your specific needs that you that you are looking for. Um, just let us know and, and we'll configure the, the system the way that you would, would like it. And as a side note, um, not included on this slide, we actually um, announced our touchpad, 
which is um, our rugged, fully ruggedized tablet that uh, was announced and is, will be shipping um, the end of October. And as I said, the, um, our fully, our, all of our ruggedized computers, the fully rugged, semi-rugged, and business rugged, include all of the, include all of the accessories and services, um, such as battery packs, chargers, um, car adapters. We have vehicle docking stations. Um, you can do memory expansion and desktop docking, and we also include extended warranties as well. Uh, another product um, included on to coordinate with the um, with our our laptops is the our cameras. Uh, we have one camera available or camera system available on the State of Georgia contract, and that is our mobile video in car video, which we call the Arbitrator. This is available. A lot of the um, public safety end users use this, uh, specific to the police. Um, we um, equip their um, suburbans and Tahoes with this camera system to increase their safety. Um, so this also includes, on the contract, we include the vehicle mounting systems for this, um, the extended warranties, software services that um, for this system as well, and then also including the deployment services to go along with this. Um, Value-added services um, for our, the computer side of it, we have imaging support as well as on-site warranties available. Uh, for the cameras, we include installation um, as a value-add service. We also have remote monitoring services available and um, extended warranty. The savings potential, um, once again, the volume discount levels are available for, um, at specific delivery, on specific delivery orders. So you just need to contact us and work with our, work with our ASL more area sales manager, as well as our, um, our representative um, CDW in the, when you're doing your, um, your POs. Uh, we also have future promotions that, that may be available, so always contact the reseller um, to make sure that you're getting the latest promotions that are available when you're uh, placing your order. Uh, we have uh, one uh, exclusive reseller for this contract um, for Panasonic, and that is CDWG. Um, we've decided to go with one specific reseller uh, just because uh, we wanted one dedicated a reseller available to you, so less confusion, and less hassle, and you have one single point of contact. And um, for contact information, I will be your primary contact. Um, I am the contract. Uh, I do the day-to-day -day management of the contract for Panasonic. Uh, we do have an area sales manager, um, Brian Tillman, uh, with Panasonic. He is available for the public sector group. We also have a dedicated um, area sales manager under K-12, as well as one for higher education, and we also have one for, um, for health care. So depending on your needs, um, you just contact me, and I will get you in, in touch with the appropriate um, ASM uh, with Panasonic. And I will then also coordinate the meeting with the CTWG reseller representative. Also, if you contact me, if you're going to email me, also include um, if you could copy the other email address contract at us.panasonic.com in case I'm out. This will go to the other to other um, contract managers that are available. That I'm specific to public sector, um, but I do have support that can um, in, just in case I'm not available at that time. Thank and you, if you guys, Tracy. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, Tracy. Next, we will have Transource with Barb Sullivan. And just give us a second to uh, get the presentation ready. Good morning. My name is Barb Sullivan, and I am your senior account executive here at Transource Computers. We are thrilled to have won the State of Georgia contract, and we look forward to a long-lasting relationship with our customers across the State of Georgia. 
you may be wondering who Transource is or why you have never heard of us before. Well, the answer is pretty simple. Since our founding in 1984, Transource has focused almost 100% on sales to government customers. We do almost no retail business. Tracy, can you advance? Great. We can't move. Oh, there we go. Sorry, Beverly. Um, for nearly three decades of service to the government, um, we're known for our flexibility, reliability, performance, and value. We were founded in 1984. Um, custom configurations are absolutely no problem. Logistics, expertise, what you need, where you need, when you need, when you need it there. Production, integration, and image, li image library. Systems built and documented to your specifications. We have an extensive catalog of accessories, components, and peripherals. Um, strategic teaming relationships bring more to the table. Our corporate headquarters are here in Phoenix, Arizona. Supporting the customer, that would be myself, Barb Sullivan. Um, now, if you have technical issues, Darren Sandage would also be um, a contact. Products and services, custom systems and services, customer-driven solutions. We have a huge line card is just the beginning. Um, we have desktop computers, mobile systems, workstations, ultra books, peripherals and accessories, custom systems available for most for most any purchase and legacy equipment. Um, Transource places services before the sale. Without a great support, there cannot be a great relationship with our customers. We've solved issues for customers from every level of government and education. Let us know how we can be of service to you. Now, value-added services, value found is value-added. Thinking outside all boxes. Go ahead, try to stump us. Um, we have HDD imaging, asset tagging, extended logistics capabilities, extended and renewable support contracts, uh, focus on product life and ROI. Um, so basically, if you need a simple upgrade or chip swap, give us a call. We play well with others, other subcontractors. Transverse currently supports customers around the world. We are confident we can support our Georgia customers at the highest level that you expect, demand, and deserve. Primary objectives, become a trusted partner, leverage local resources, maintain flexibility, open communication, shortest path to solutions, and rapid response. Customer service, working to improve customer experience. The transource approach to avoid trouble whenever possible, own the problem when they arise. Um, we set great expectations, advise customers on product delays, give them the opportunity to make needed changes so they can fulfill their commitments. Where multiple vendors might be involved, we step out and lead the customer to the quickest possible solution that fits their needs, and always follow up. The savings potential, what transfers can provide Georgia customers an additional discount. We go the extra yard in the quotes and the order process to let the customer know that about the promotions and quantity discounts, including advising them to delay, expedite, and order when advantageous. We get other manufacturers involved whenever feasible to take advantage of promotions, rebates, and other tools to save the customer money. We, be, um, 
we also become more proactive during the consultative phase of the purchase cycle, share more information that promotes effective purchasing decisions for the customer. Meeting individual computing needs one PC at a time. Thank you so much, Georgia. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you. We're going to move to some frequently asked questions and um, then kind of wrap it up and allow you to ask uh, some questions also. Uh, some of the questions have already been answered. Uh, who can purchase off of the statewide contract? Uh, all state entities, local government entities, um, K-12 can purchase off of this contract. Um, how do I know which resellers um, have been approved for the contract? We have our statewide contract information sheets that are unique to each supplier. Uh, you can get that from Team Georgia Marketplace, and there will be a list there of authorized and approved resellers. Can I order directly from the manufacturer? Yes. And that depends on the manufacturer or supplier. Um, here again, go to the statewide contract information sheet, and that information will be provided there as far as whether you can order directly or go through a reseller. If my entity is placing a large order, can I get additional discounts? Um, for large single orders, we encourage you to request an additional discount um, to get and to also get several quotes. Is there a minimum order size? Um, no, that is not required for this statewide contract. Um, we do realize that I guess IT is pretty much unique and you're going to have some products that cross over to other IT contracts, and that is okay. And we, occur, we encourage you to look at the pricing and get what is best for uh, your entity as far as pricing, the best value. And what do you do if you have an issue? Uh, if you're unable to resolve an issue, please feel free to give me a call. We want to hear from you. And my number is listed, 404-656-5345. For more information, I have my email address also presented. And on the next slide, uh, we have a complete list of contact information from all of the suppliers that you've heard from uh, today. And just a note, um, everything that's been presented today will be uploaded to the OAS website um, for you to read or pass to others. And now we're going to open the floor. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to ask. And you can type that directly into the system. We're going through the list now. We'll be with you in just a second. Well, they'd be loaded into the web's TGN. We have a question asking when will the items or the products be loaded in Team Georgia Marketplace. We are in the process of getting each supplier set up completely. Um, through their enablement or through their website. Uh, we're hoping that within the next two weeks that would be complete for you. Wow. 
question being, why isn't Apple part of the presentation? Apple did not participate in this new PC solicitation. Um, they are still with the original contract, which is SWC 90814-04. So you can still purchase from Apple. It's just a different contract. Question. How should shipping charges be determined and added if shipping is not already included? Are there discounts for shipping charges? Shipping charges are exempt from this contract. There's not a, a separate shipping charge. I didn't think purchasing cards were allowed for PC purchases. Is that okay? Yes, it is okay. Question. We're on the DOS, DOAS site where we find the presentation. Paper. Yeah, it is under state purchasing, and um, there is a link uh, to go to for the webinar. Mm -hmm. um, there's a series of clicks for that. Do you have anything? Yes, and um, what the webinar presentation <laughs> along with the slides will be posted tomorrow morning. Sorry. Well, still going in order now. So question being, so are we still going to use order now when needing a PC or other products? That is, if you're a GETS agency, that would be yes. You still go to order now uh, because GETS will be providing your, your, um, your technology for your desk. If you're a non-GETS agency, you would go to Team Georgia Marketplace. Question for Beverly. We were told by a reseller that we could not, no longer buy top sellers model on the new contract. They are now doing custom configurations for us that take longer to ship and don't really get us a significant additional discount. Can we buy pre-configured top sellers model on the contract? Yes, you can. Question. Will we still do our orders through order now for GDC, or do we now go through the contract? Uh, we just ordered that. You would still, if you're a GETS agency, use order now. OK, we'll wait for a second to see if we have any additional questions. If not, I want to thank the uh, state of Georgia for your participation um, today. If you do have additional questions, still feel free uh, to contact me. I want to thank our suppliers for your wonderful presentations today. Um, and also uh, thank my coworkers here at DOAS. And I think we have one more question. Yes. In order now, will these brands and models be available to us? That would be no. Order now has, or IBM is providing, or Dell is providing. It's IBM, so that's IBM's IBM. catalog, and um, no, there will be whatever whatever brands are on the contract now. As far as I know, will remain on that contract for the foreseeable future. Right, but some of the new suppliers that you've just seen will not be, to my knowledge, uh, on that unless. There would be, I guess, maybe a, a request by a specific agency or institution yeah. to IBM, and then IBM would be allowed to use our contracts if they choose to. Right. They have the ability to make specific requests for solutions outside of that catalog. Right. Through right. IBM. Right. Oh, yeah. We want to put that. Just a second, we're reading over one more question or comment. General information legislation guidelines, minority business, GDOT certification, public, nonprofit, home. You just did a print screen. Okay. Okay, we need that. Mobile site. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Okay. Hi, Jan. We got your question. We'll talk to you later. <laughs> well, that's, that's a. That she, that's a screenshot, Nicole, on how to get to the webinar. Oh, okay. I don't know 
it's not coming over. Yeah. 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 Jeffrey, do you have any closing remarks for today? Um, the only closing remarks um, I have is I want to want to thank everybody for attending and all of our um, suppliers for attending. Uh, we had a great turnout for this today. Um, I know that uh, PCs are 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 a very passionate uh, commodity with with um, all of our uh, and your users. So I think we've got a great solution for you, and we at DOAS are here to help you um, understand the new contract. And all of our um, suppliers who spoke today are there as well, and uh, willing and able to help you understand the contract. So, uh, if you, when we hang up, I'm sure we'll, people will have, you know, more questions. Feel free to contact Beverly or myself, and uh, and uh, we'll we'll run it down for you. Okay, and I would just like to add, um, there are a series of clicks to get to the webinar. I don't mind. We we can send something out. Um, to the group or the participants um, to give you a quick um, method of how to get to that. All right. Thank you for your time today. Have a blessed day.